Go, Lucius, go. Yeah, get that Saturday Night Fever pose going on, my friend. Look at that. Work it. Yes. Why don't you come down? All righty, guys. What is going on? All you beautiful people, guys and gals, young and old. Hope everyone is doing all right. I surely, surely do. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. You found it the one and only, the world famous... Uh, this is Mr. Lucius. He's getting down. It's not really an appropriate dance for this kind of lo-fi, jazzy type of stuff. But it's the only dance he knows, and he's good at it. Anyway, this is our hardcore challenge. This is our hardcore human warlock challenge. This is Juck Crash over here. This is our minion, and uh, it's Lucius, as I mentioned. Anyway, I think we are finished up in Elwyn, boys. Let me give you a close-up of that booty, as I know you want it. I aim to please. Yeah, get that booty. All right, uh, freak. Uh, so, guys, we are going to head to Westfall. I Wait, I don't know if I've got the flight path over there. I don't actually think I do, but let's check, because I might. Yep, we are basically done here. We have slayed hogger. Mm -hmm. We slayed murlocs, bears, wolves. Probably something else. Let's see what we got. What can I do for you? Um bless you. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna jump off here. Leap of faith. Boom. Oh boy. Okay. I thought I was gonna <laughs> Thought I was gonna hit the ground and die. Anyway, this is a hardcore challenge. Kind of an RP type of hardcore challenge. I'll have the rules up on the screen temporarily right there. I won't go over them all. Covered them all in the first uh, six, seven episodes, but uh, it's permadeath. That's the most important thing. And we are not going to be able to use our soul stone when we get it. We can use health stones. It's not quite as tough as the Iron Man. The original Iron Man challenge is brutal. You can have no gear above white gear. No professions, no talents, no buffs. You guys want to you want to challenge yourself. Um, the Iron Man challenge is hardcore. So the RP bit of this um, is basically we can only use stuff that we make. Uh, we are allowed to use stuff that we get from a quest reward because that would make sense that we could do that. We can't use any gear that drops off of an animal or, well, let me, we can't use any gear that drops off of a non-humanoid because it wouldn't make any sense that they would be carrying a pair of pants, a wolf with a pair of pants. Doesn't make any sense, but we can use their meats, things like that. Conversely, I like the word conversely. I use it a lot. We can use uh, any gear that drops off a humanoid because that would make sense that we'd be able to loot their corpse and, uh, Hey, this guy's got a nice pair of pants. I'll just wash the blood off them. Put them right on. We could do that. So that's how we're doing it. Anyway, if we got people just watching one Let's Play and not the other, uh, I'm going to just kind of plug myself. How dare you, Wolf? You out of your mind. Uh, if you're interested in seeing any highlights, like little funny bits from uh, episodes, I have been uh, sort of, I've got a TikTok channel I put together, and there's a link to it at the top right of this channel. If anybody's interested, I've got 20 or so videos up there, I believe, somewhere in there. Quite a few of them. I was using YouTube Shorts. I think I released two YouTube Shorts, but uh, two things I don't like about the YouTube Shorts. Uh, one, the videos can only be a minute long. Uh, TikTok can be up to three minutes long, so I could put more stuff together. Uh, but the other thing is I just didn't like how the YouTube Shorts would release 
on the channel like I had... It's going to be hard for me to explain. I didn't like how they released and they showed up as just in line with all of my other videos. I wish that it was they would do that a little bit differently, maybe a separate... And I, if I was a good YouTuber, I'm sure I could probably figure out how to release them to where they appear, maybe on the bottom row or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> TikTok channel, if anybody's interested. All right, Farmer Furlbrow. Nothing but trouble in these parts. I tried to tell that fool Saudian to get out while he still could, but he won't hear of it. But I ain't no fool. Vern and I are going to mosey on out of here as soon as we get this wagon fixed. Okay. Uh, yeah. You have... Wait, what is this? You have the deed to my farm? Yeah. And I knew that I did. That's why I came here. I totally forgot we had this. That's good news. Some ruffians stole it days ago. I thought it was good for gone. Gone for good, even. Please let me have it. We're on our way back out of Westfall, and I ain't coming back anytime soon. But if we do, then we'll need those papers. Okay, there you go, my friend. All right. Loads of thanks, Lucius. And as I was saying, these parts aren't fit for honest folk anymore. But if things get better, then this deed will let us reclaim our land. I don't have much to offer, but here, take this. Okay. I don't really want any of this, but we'll take a... Oh, I get both of them to take up bag space? Is that the kind of guy you are? Got another warlock in the area over here. Level 14. She'll have no trouble. This first starting area. It was horrible. Verna woke me up when she heard a ruckus in the fields. The fields were full of hooligans. We left in a rush and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. Uh, Verna's paw gave me that watch on her wedding day and I feel just sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd be grateful. Bread and milk. See you later. Yeah, see you later, my friend. Let's talk to Verna. You need something? Hello, Westfall Stew. Sometimes I think there's a big gray cloud in the sky just raining down bad luck upon us. First, we're driven off our land, and now we can't even get out of Westfall. Well, I got news for you. You could walk 10 feet, and you could be right there in L1 Forest, but... Um, they are NPCs. Everything's the best. Something needs to be done. Okay. I never thought the day would come when I'd leave the farm, but the fields are overrun with thieves, and it's far too dangerous for us here now. As soon as Farmer Furlbrawl, Furlbrawl, Brow, boy, that's a rough word, gets the wagon fixed, we'll be on our way. Maybe you could do me a favor. Let me scribble down my recipe for Westfall stew. Please take it to Salma over on the farm yonder. The Saldian's farm is just beyond the fork in the road. Okay. Safe travels. Safe travels. What else do you have? You? Poor old Blanche. Poor old Blanche. such a tired beast. All the work we put her through. I fed her before we left the farm, but we weren't expecting the wagon to break on us. If you could bring her a few handfuls of oats from the fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could find some all around the farms in Westfall. If you could steer clear of those horrific machines that have taken over. Okay. We'll get a bag that we don't really need because we're, uh, we're big time... Uh, Taylor. We make our own bags, but we'll do that. See you around. See you around. All right, so the pocket watch. I think the pocket watch is uh, over here. Pretty rough, but uh, we're going to run right to uh, the town. I can't remember what it's called. We're going to grab the flight path, so we have that. And there'll be more quests for us to pick up there. Also, we made it to level 12. I came up with my own ranking system. I'll pop it up right over there just uh, for a short time. Just to add a little bit of fun to the game. Every five levels, we get a new rank. I believe right now we are an illusionist. We started out as a Wiccan. We went to a trickster. And now we are a mighty illusionist. Good at magic tricks, sleight of hand, that type of thing. There's a quest there. We'll be coming back over this way, so we're just going to pop over here first. We're pretty good level because we stayed so long in Elwyn Forest. We are... Uh, uh, there's some high-level mobs uh, here in Westfall. But uh, for this this initial starting area, we're, uh, we're pretty well uh, leveled for here. Mm -hmm. I like overcomplicating things that I say. We 
we got any, uh, yeah, we do. Got some soul shards in the bag. We can make up a health stone. All right, let's check in with the head dude. Need help? Um, here we go. Ah, so my friend sent you here. How kind. Well, the Stormwind Monarchy has abandoned our cause. Now it's up to the people's militia to keep the land free from corruption. If our cause interests you, I can put your combat skills to use in the name of freedom. Okay. The people's militia has brought but one goal, to defend the lands of Westfall and return peace to our surroundings. Unfortunately, the price of peace is often blood. Yes, it is. One of my scouts has brought word of a band of Defias trappers wreaking havoc nearby. I have reports of Defias trapper sightings near the Jengalode mine to the northwest, as well as the Molson farm uh, and Furlbrawl's pumpkin farm. Uh, if you seek to join up uh, our ranks, slay 15 Defias trappers and 15 smugglers, then return to me. Five silver. Go with honor, friend. I'll go with some honor. What do you got, my friend? What can I do for you? This is Captain Donovan, Danovan, 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 Captain D. Stormwind has abandoned us. A foul wind of depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland, and I will not turn my back on citizens who choose to remain here. We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task should be to, should you choose to accept it, is to, uh, is, uh, yeah, right, is uh, the patrol of the grasslands of Westfall. Track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the dead mine thieves. Bring me eight knoll paws and I will reward your bravery with some garbage. But uh, those bracers are actually better. For the alliance. And also for the horde. <laughs> All right. Hello. Quartermaster Lewis, what do you have? Oh, I know what this is. Uh, although we don't get much aid from Stormwind directly, I do have contact in the city who helps supply us with armor. His name is Orsic Strang. His shop, Limited Immunity, is in the old town of Stormwind. Our supply of armor dwindles, and I must contact Orsic for more. Can you take him this note? Yes. Safe travel. Yes, we can. But we'll do that whenever we need to go back to Stormwind. We're doing on time. Oh, yeah, we got, uh, got time to do some stuff. Let's run back to the Saldian farm. We can pick up uh, a recipe to gather all kinds of animal parts. We'll need wolf parts, vulture parts, and boar parts, and probably a murloc eye or something else disgusting for the stew. Yeah, so over the weekend, this past weekend, I finally got back out to uh, do another gravestone cleaning. These things will see us from a ways away. Uh, these are lower level ones, but... Um, but yeah, that was... Uh, it had been about... Not quite a month, but it had been about three weeks... So I did another cleaning. I, I do enjoy that. Also, if anybody's interested in seeing those um, gravestone restorations, it's just kind of a hobby. It's become a hobby of mine. I do it uh, when I can in my free time. I don't have a lot of free time these days, but it's something I do enjoy doing. I'll just find a very old gravestone that's been, you know, forgotten about, and I will clean it up. And uh, I've done uh, three of them now. But uh, there's also a link to that channel at the very bottom of this channel, I think, or it might be up top, called Misty Mountain Restorations. All right, so, uh, let's check in with Salma. What can I do for you? Hello, Salma. Uh, Westfall Stew. I'm going to miss that Verna for a brow so much, I don't suppose you happened to see her on your way here. I did. She gave me this for you. That Verna was always such a sweet lass. We'll miss her here in Westfall, but between you and me, she's a city girl at heart, and Stormwind will suit her just uh, fine. But enough gossip. All right. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, we can do liver pie and Westfall stew. They e they sound equally disgusting. The onions are peeled. The garlic is minced. The rosemary is crushed. The crust is been has been baked. The dill wheat is chopped. The gravy is simmering. Now all I need for my famous meat pie are eight gore tusk livers. Actually sounds pretty good. All right, we will get some food to help us out and uh, a cooking recipe. And we are going to pick up cooking unless I've already done it. I'm not sure how far we're going to get, but this kind of stuff will be helpful. 
Uh, and this is a quest reward, so this is going to be allowed. Have a good one. I will. Well met. What about Westfall stew? Help me make some Westfall stew. Come back with the following ingredients. Three, three stringy pieces of vulture meat, three Gortusk snouts. Why the nose of the pig? Why wouldn't like the the, the hindquarters? No, it's got to be noses. Three murloc eyes and three pieces of okra. Yuck. <laughs> we get all kinds of stuff for this. Be careful. Be careful. Yep, you too. What are we doing on bag space? Probably have to sell a couple of things. Oh, we're not too bad. Yeah, we're not. Oh, I've got all kinds of space here. Put these up here since they don't disappear when we log out. We'll put our meats up here. There we go. Plenty of space. All right, let's check in with... Uh, this guy, Greetings. Farmer Saldian, the Killing Fields. Look at what has happened to this place. The lands were once occupied by good farm folk, but these, the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though. But it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done for your pay. If you finish up with the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. Uh, this is an upgrade for us. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. For the alliance. For the horde. All right. May as well start on this. Oh. Look at me. All right. This isn't uh, Fenner Mountain. This is a hardcore challenge. I got to be mindful of what the hell I do. <laughs> All right. Let's go collect some animal parts. Uh, we'll make our way over actually to here and see what we can do about getting the pocket watch back. And we'll uh, also look for some. Uh, bags of oats, which I should have already been looking for. Take out a couple of these. And I need my macro back on the bar. I don't know why I took this off. We're going to do that. For something, for this stuff that's, uh, we are higher level than, uh, I'm going to put the macro. All the macro is uh it's just we start casting our um emulate and it also sends the pet in to start attacking at the same time that's all that is so the bags of oats can be found um along fences and by the farms and stuff and we can get okra i'm pretty sure off of these things I might have to I have to change this back again, I think. Actually, all I have to do is send him in first. Yeah, there's some okra. Yeah, I just need to send him in first. I'm wishy-washy. How much initial damage does that do? I'm surprised we um surprised we pull threat. Like that. You think the the Void Walker would uh, have plenty of taunt? Yeah, it does. I guess it just does too much initial DPS, too much initial damage. It's fine. Also, let's make up a health stone. Because that will save us. It's actually better than our armor pots. Our armor pots, our health pots. Out of mana. Like a pro. Like a pro warlock in a hardcore challenge. Oh, man. I don't think we, we can't do anything about diseases or curses as a warlock. Not yet. I actually don't know if that's a thing. All right, well, we've got the okra we need. Man, that is a long debuff, too. 20 freaking minutes. I mean, it's not horrible, but... That's 20 less health. It's not that big of a deal. So 
So I think this staff we're using was a quest reward, and uh, we did train staffs up. Um, agility doesn't do a whole lot for us, but um, that actually kind of negates the disease that we have, the two stamp. I think that's how that works. So we're going to take a peek in this building. Um, there are at least two ads in the building, and I think there's an ad or two outside. We're going to be careful. And um, what the thing that we need is in a chest or like a, um, what do you call it? Like a dresser thing, armoire, whatever. So we have not made it to level 20 on any of our hardcore challenges. I'm pretty sure that has not happened. <laughs> I would like it to happen. I want to get it there just for my own personal thing, uh, if nothing else. And I really need to be playing better. I need to be, uh, I need to be having mana before I start. I mean, this way I wouldn't be doing this if we had the imp. Obviously, the imp would die, and then we'd have aggro on us. So I do need to, I do need to be careful. Oh, need a trapper, and we got one. Okay, let's drink up a little bit. Did I buy milk? I forgot to buy milks. Wait a minute, why didn't I? Oh. Oh, this is just okay. We got an upgraded health stone. It restores just slightly more, uh, which is good. Anything that we can get that helps us out is good. I'm going to pull her over or him. I don't want to fight him too close to this door because there are ads in here and we have to go in there. also don't want them running off. We don't have any kind of CC ability. And uh, you, we, we don't, you don't want to get too close over here either. Oh, there's a bag of oats. It, these things will come a long way to get you. <laughs> We've got a giant aggro range. That's because they're above our level range, so they can see us from further off. Let's see what we got in here. Should be a caster in here. This is how we're going to play this. I'm going to send him in. We'll see if we can burn both of these down. I have a health funnel now. Oh, no. Okay. We are out. Please don't root me with your net. That is a thing. What level is that guy? I popped our health. We're okay. We're okay. I was just going to say, please don't trap me with your net. Please fuck off. Okay. The Void Walker went down really quick. Did not see her. That, uh, yeah, these health stones are going to be uh, crucial for us. Just vital. I didn't see what level the other guy was, but uh, it's fine now. We just have the one ad. And the thing about health funnel, this transfers our health to the void walker so i'm not going to just be using that anytime uh, i'm going to try to really be careful about how we use that basically if he has taunt on something and it's close to dying 
like the NPC is close to dying, but the Void Walker is also close, then I will use it in that situation to keep it up long enough. But uh, I'm not going to use it willy nilly because we can't afford to uh, have our health be transferred. <laughs> All right, let's get a bite to eat here. Or drink, rather. Yeah, I just didn't see her. I didn't see the ad. I think it actually pats back and forth, so. All right, we should be okay here now. We should level 15. That's why. That is why he went down so fast. This still might be a little bit rough. I'm going to dot him up. I'm going to keep, uh, let's keep dots up and we're going to play it this way. Let's heal him up a little bit more. Let those dots work and then we'll throw this on him. Okay, we're okay here, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's get this and get out of here because uh, they will respawn. I don't think it's a super quick respawn rate, but... Um, we don't want that happening. There's the pocket watch. Yeah, level 15. That's why he got decimated. Just got destroyed. Oh, somebody didn't make it. Look, that may be a warlock, and the dots killed this, and then she died as well. Yeah, this, this, this quest is rough. And I think you've got to kill like 20 or fucking 30 of them. Some ridiculous amount you have to kill. But I definitely would have helped her out had I seen what was going on there. There's a bag of oats. Or sack of oats, rather. I don't think we need the foot pads. We need trappers and something else. All kinds of corpses around here. I guess we may as well uh, let's kill kill some of the stuff. We need to collect ingredients. Try to do some melee to keep our skill up, our melee skill up, in case we get into a bad situation. It is good to have your weapon skill up so you can hit something. Might save you. I mean, usually you're just going to be running away, but it's a good idea. Still got this freaking disease on us. Whack him with your staff, Lucius. What is our... Where's my... Uh... I can never find the chat button, the hide chat button thing. There it is up there. Yeah, we're getting our skill up. It's at 31 currently. Um, yeah, we got a ways to go. We're halfway there. I need to be using it a lot more. I need to keep it up. What can I do for Here's your pocket watch, my friend. My watch, thank you so much, kind sir. We are but poor farmers and we have lost our land. But please accept this reward as a token of our appreciation. I need that milk, actually. See you around, See you around my friend. All right. We'll head back on into town here. Actually, we'll probably just chill out. We'll see if Saldian will run to some room. We'll hang out there. Next episode, we'll finish getting some bags of oats for poor old Blanche. 
and we'll uh, we'll slay some Defias, pick up some animal parts on the way. Should hit level 13 next episode, providing everything goes well. There's a sack of oat right here. Hardcore player. Yeah. Right on, my friend. All right, so he gave me the head nod. He said I could, we could take their room. He sleeps on the couch, and he makes her sleep in the field. So we're going to chill out here. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I surely do. You guys take care. Mr. Lucius, Chuck Crash, and myself will catch you guys in the next one. It's been fun. It has been fun. Peace.